So you're going to notice that it's a little different this time. The market is actually live. We're here uh, while it's actually happening. And the reason for this is because I've realized the only way that I can get myself to make these videos now is by just doing it as soon as I'm done with the trade because then I go on with my day and I get all distracted and then I forget and I come back and it's too late. And by the time I get back and realize that, oh no, man, you were supposed to make a video. I go and the profit, it's already, it disappears after a certain time, like 9.30 p.m., which is like, you know, midnight over there on the East Coast. So all the numbers reset. And I don't like to, you know, post the trades or the trade videos when the profit number isn't there because there's always people out there that are going to be like, oh, no, no, he's lying. There's, it's not true. He didn't do it. It's a this. It's a that. There's no, it doesn't show the numbers. I don't know. You guys know how people get. They like to complain about any little thing. So... Let's just jump into this trade real quickly here. I'm going to try and keep all the small talk to a minimum. So I traded Netflix this morning. Uh, we traded Netflix calls. So let's just real briefly 644 to 648. We did this within four minutes. So we made $1,600 in four minutes. So let me show you where we got in. Right here is where I entered the trade. Put little arrows for you guys just to make it easier for you guys to see and i was out of the trade right here perfect beautiful so let's zoom out let it get it's kind of like a, a better visual here so you guys can kind of see what we were doing um, now obviously if you've taken my course and all that you already know the details of why I got into this trade why I got in it there what you you can just by looking at it you can kind of tell like oh okay cool like it's not brain science or brain surgery I suppose brain science as well uh, it's not brain surgery not rocket science here um, so I got in the trade right there I was wanting it to get a dip closer to the 30350 area uh, I didn't get exactly the 30350. I was in at like 30365, 30370. And I had my risk on 30250, which means that if I was wrong, I'm going to get out of the trade if we went below the 30250. So, so first of all, as a little side comment, when I get into any kind of trade or any investment or anything, all I see is risk. Nothing else. You know, people will look at me saying, oh, man, you know, this, 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 blah, 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 is this. It could potentially go up to this. And I'm like, yeah, but it could also potentially go down to that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that was my theory is that I look at everything from a risk perspective. So I'm saying, all right, I'm going to get out. If we go below the 30250, I'm in at a 30370 area. So that's about a $1.25 risk, a $1.20 risk. So if I want a two to one reward, I'm going to need at least a three dollar profit so i'm saying if in order for me to take this trade i would want the stock to be able to at least go to 307 which i'm thinking yeah we could hit 307.50 it's you know a nice psychological uh number and everything like that so i'm, I'm like yeah we t it's a good trade let's do it you know you analyze the situation and you then you take the proper action it's something my dad taught me he was in the air force and well it doesn't relate to stock trading at all he said if your your engine on your jet stops working midair don't panic assess the situation then take the proper action uh, i know it sounds kind of kind of odd but it's just something that i always keep with me that i always that i always like to use uh, it applies to anything you know you stop assess the situation then you take the proper action you know so anyways i got into the trade i said it was a good trade so i got into the trade here now we were trading options to kind of give you guys the breakdown of all of that here um, options. So, so this is me speaking to like the new people. I get a ton of messages on Instagram. Uh, I remember the other day I posted something where it was like a $1,500 profit at a 50% profit. Uh, so if you do the math there, you can see like 1,500 is 50% of 3000, right? You can, you know, normal brain can do this. Uh, I was getting people on Instagram commenting, blowing up, like, are you retarded? What is this? You're stupid. You can't, how did the stock do that? It moved like a dollar. How did you put in 3000 and make $1,500? Um, obviously, those are the people that don't know what's going on. So what I'm saying here is kind of geared towards them now. So with this Netflix, if I was trading shares and I got in at, let's say, 30350 and I sold it at the 307 that I did, that is $3.50 worth of a profit if you will per share so if you want to figure out how much money that you would have needed in order to place this trade trading shares 
just go into your calculator and you'll do three basically take the profit 1600 and you'll divide that by three dollars and fifty cents that's 457 shares that you would have needed so 457 shares times 303.50 that's $138,699 so if you were trading shares and you wanted to make $1,600 entering the trade around 303.50 and exiting around 307 you would have needed $138,000 in your account minimum but since we don't trade shares we trade well we do trade shares as well we can do both it's not like it's you know there's there's you know Ah, I'm over here gonna start rambling now I can tell um, we do trade shares as well go watch some of my other videos you'll see me trading some shares too um, so man this Netflix guy is really holding up here um, I can see I get all sidetracked guys so we were trading options options basically allows you to trade these stocks with a smaller amount of money so this trade I made $1,600 with I want to make sure that I get the exact number for you guys here 6480 so less than $6500 is what I put into this trade so if you had $6500 and you also knew what you were doing here you also could have made a $1600 profit in 4 4 minutes it's like the power of knowledge you know it's crazy you learn something and then you can actually do it wow you know um so let's just keep it going here so at 644 i got in 12 contracts at 540 each now the way options works one is equivalent to 100 so one isn't five dollars and 40 cents it's actually 540 so 540 times that by 12 because i had 12 contracts is 6480 four minutes later as the value of the stock increased the value of my option increased from 540 to 677 so there's two ways you can do this to calculate this you can say okay we were in at 540 we sold it for 677 so subtract the difference 677 minus 540 that's 137 dollar profit per contract so we had 12 so multiply that 137 times 12 that gives you 1644 or you can also say, okay, yeah, so we had 12 contracts at 540, which is $6,480. We sold 12 contracts for 677. So 677 times 12 is $8,124. Subtract that from the cost of the trade, which was 6480 you now have $1,644. So I'm just, you know, explaining it in two different ways. And then my, you know, of course, my infamous used car example, I always say that if you buy a used car for $6,500, thinking that you're going to be able to sell it for $8,000, and you end up being wrong, and you realize, oh, man, the the car needs a new battery or something. I don't know. You, you, realize, you realize you don't even want to deal with it. You just want to let it go. What, are you going to go take the tar car to the junkyard and just drop it there and say, all right, guys, here you go. It's all yours. No, you'll go and sell it to somebody for $6,000. Take a $500 loss on that. You get what I'm saying? So that's what we were doing here. So when I say we had $6,500 in the trade, doesn't mean that we were risking $6,500. If we were wrong, we didn't lose $6,500. Um, I just want to kind of set that idea straight there because some people would be like, wow, you put $6,000 in to make $1,000. Well, you know, would you rather put $140,000 in? to make 1600 or would you rather put 6500 I don't know. I, I would either put the 6500 but, you know, some people like to do it the other way, which there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're making money, that's all that matters, right? Don't let other people put you down or tell you this or tell you that. As long as what you're doing is working, you keep doing it. So that was pretty much that, guys. I don't want to get too deep into this idea and get start rambling and all that. But $1,600 profit, we entered it right here around the 303.50 area. I was out right at the 307 area for various reasons. I wouldn't have even held it past the 307.50 area unless it was playing with profits uh, just because that's also like a key level that we can expect the stock to hit and stop moving at like a key resistance area if you will um psychologically speaking and such so before i start rambling guys we're already over 10 minutes on the video usually i try to keep them below 10 minutes um but this is basically where i got into the trade i didn't want to exactly jump the gun and chase the trade all the way up here so i was waiting for a pull pullback to my specific area 
uh, got into the trade, had my plan. I mean, one more last comment. I wasn't exactly expecting the trade to happen within four minutes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, yeah, I knew it was going to happen exactly right there. Just like that. It was just going to rip up. Blah, 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 blah. No, I wasn't necessarily expecting it to happen like that. I was expecting it to dip to my area, then maybe chop around for a bit. I was thinking I might, be, might even have to hold it throughout the day to be able to get the kind of move that I was expecting to get. But thankfully, it did give it to me real quickly. So I was able to get in and out of it. But I did get... Uh, yeah, I bought extra time. You know, I bought next week expiration uh, rather than November 22nd. I got the November 29th just in case I didn't want to get hit with the time decay because uh, I was expecting it. Okay, yeah, we might dip to the area and then just linger, for example. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that, guys. Uh, 303.50 to the 307 area. I didn't get out exactly at the 307.50. I got out right around the 307 because I didn't want to be greedy. Uh, the way that the stock moves so quickly, they can also reverse quickly and like i'm not saying like completely reverse but i'm saying they can uh pull back quickly which kind of like exactly like what it did uh so that was pretty much that guys locked it in one thousand six hundred dollar profit in four minutes with less than six thousand five hundred dollars invested so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video you know the deal hit the, th the subscribe button hit the thumbs up go comment something nice below just say hi if you guys want to uh and that's pretty much that make sure you guys are following me on all social media platforms Who's Bijan T on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and all of that. And make sure you check the description for this video. I'm going to put some links below, some things you might benefit from. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all soon.